So if you're ready, all right, let's get started and draw some cartoon bugs. Now we've got a great show for you lined up, a lot of cartooning fun. And our first subject is going to be, we've got a live model for our first bug. Be real careful, put him right here, and he'll pose for us. And I'm so excited about that. Oh, well, uh, we don't need a model anyway. Let's get started, and let's draw our first subject, and it's going to be a caterpillar. Now, a caterpillar is a very friendly little animal, so we'll do it that way, make them friendly. And we're starting with a bunch of circles. There's one. Two, three, four, five, and eh, we'll stay six, and put some little feet on them. Now, actually, I think they have about 13 segments, but we're taking a little license here, some liberties to make it a little more visually appealing for a cartoon. All right, right over here, I'm going to make a, an oval shape for his nose, and we'll give him a friendly face, big, friendly, expressive eyes. One there, and one here, and you know what? I'll have his eyelids half closed, like sort of dreamy, and he'll be dreaming of something. I'll put his eyebrows up, and let's have him looking at us. There you go, and a big smile, and a U shape like that for a full cheek. All right. Now, bugs have antennas, and they're one of the features that we can work with. So let's just have a couple of lines going out this way, with a little circle on the end, and adds a little personality. Now under here, I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow effect, because he'd be casting a shadow. And these are ball shapes, spheres. And what we're going to do is first decide from which direction the light is coming from and shade this character. Now let's say it's coming from the upper left. Now that would mean that each one of these ball shapes here would be casting a shadow on the next shape. So let's just do that a little bit like this, see? And that adds a little bit of depth. Okay, the next thing, we're going to put them on a big leaf. And that is nothing more than a big teardrop shape. Comes to a point right there and back. Ah, he's a cute little guy. All right, now we're going to add some color to this fella. And what I'm going to do first is add some overall tone to the whole sketch. And I'll use some green. I'll go over everything, even the leaf and the character. And now I'm going to actually shade it. Now, what I'm going to do now is use a little green, a little darker green, and on the bottom, if the light is coming from the top, we're going to shade the bottom, just like this. Because the bottom part would be a little bit darker value because it's not seeing as much of the light. And you see how that brings it out and makes it look a little bit more rounded? This is a really cute little character, too. All right, that takes care of that. Now, what we're going to do, and a little detail in the leaf. All right, now I'm going to use a little pink punk color sticks for his nose. How's that? Maybe a little bit of a cheek and maybe his eyelids too. Now, we've got the character. Now let's have him thinking of something. Let's see, maybe he's thinking of becoming a butterfly. Of course, that's what he's going to become. Male and female caterpillars become butterflies. So a little detail on that, and let's have it in a cloud like this, like he's thinking that. And some circles indicate that he's the one doing the thinking, maybe a little blue for the butterfly. And see how a little simple sketch like this has some dimension to it when you add some tone and shading to it. 